lost her power. Good luck on that earlier. Yo, what's good? This your boy Lesser Power Man, and today I'm bringing y'all my Obliterate AR PvP build. As y'all know, in TU11, Obliterate is getting a buff from 15% weapon damage to 25% weapon damage, making it compete with things like Spotter and, you know, Glass Cannon and all that stuff. So, real quick, let's just get into the build. We're running Sharpshooter, and the main reason we're running Sharpshooter is for breath control. You get 15% increased weapon stability, reduce recoil, and faster reequation of targets. And this just keeps your AR stable so you can go for those headshots and beam those heads. And for the med kit, you get emergency cleanse. Whenever you use an armor kit, it removes status effects and increases resistance to bleed, poison, and burn for 20 seconds, which is also really good. And don't forget you get your flashbang grenades so you can just throw them out, blind a couple of enemies in PvP. These work real good in PvE and both PvP. But alright, so let's get into the build. I'm running the military P416. This is actually one of my favorite uh, ARs. I can beam headshots. I mean mid-range, long range, short range. It's good for headshots. We got 100k weapon damage, 15 assault rifle damage, 21 health damage, 6% damage to armor and in sync. Alright, so real quick, let's just check out the mods. We got a plus 5% critical hit chance. We got another plus 5% critical hit chance. We got plus 20 stability and plus 20 rounds. Alright, so for my next gun, I'm running the Formosa sitting at 92.8. We got 15 assault rifle damage, 13 health damage, and 10% damage to target out of cover. And we got strength. Gain 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing. Stacks up to 5 times. I'm still looking for a better Formosa with like Optimus or NSYNC, but this does good for right now. And take notice, my P14 has NSYNC on it. So when I raise the shield, I proc NSYNC and get that extra weapon damage. And then when the shield is gone, you switch out to your Formos and you still get the damage from the talent. But all right, for the mods, we got 5% crit chance, another 5% crit hit chance. Then we got plus 20% stability. And then we got plus 20 rounds, of course. All right, for my mask, we got three piece Providence for the 15 headshot, the 10 critical hit chance, the 15 critical hit damage. We got max armor, max crit hit chance, max crit hit damage, and a max crit hit damage mod. On the chest piece, we got a second piece of Providence. We got 15 weapon damage, 10.5 critical hit damage, max crit chance, and max crit hit damage. Then we have Obliterate. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 15 times. So in TU11, it'll stack up to 25 times, giving you 25 weapon damage. And that will compete with things like Spotter. It'll compete with like just regular glass cannon. It'll compete with a lot of talents. But like right now, just giving you 15 weapon damage, it didn't compete with a lot of things. So they had to buff it up. And it's a DPS talent. So it's real, real nice to have and see that. Alright, for the holster we got one piece fairness it gives you 10 percent assault rifle damage we got 15 weapon damage max crit hit damage and max crit hit chance on the knee pass we got max armor on the fox's prayer we got eight percent damage to target out of cover then we got 11.1 critical hit damage on the gloves we got one piece uh group of summer for the 15 percent critical hit damage we got 15 weapon damage six critical hit chance and 12 critical hit damage and the reason why I run Grupo Sombra because I just wanted that extra critical hit damage instead of running the contractors, you know what I'm saying? Because you know you only can get like crit hit damage or crit hit chance. I wanted both. So on the we got on the backpack we got our third piece of providence. We got max weapon damage, max headshot, max crit hit damage, and max crit hit damage mod. Then we got vigilance. Increases total weapon damage by twenty five percent, taking damage to save us buff for four seconds. Alright, so for our skills, we're running the Defender Drone. With this build, we have 1.1 mil armor, so we need a little bit of extra defense. So we're running both the Defender Drone and the Shield as well. They are nerfing the Shield a bit in PvP and TU11 as well, so we gotta watch out for that. But we got a 7.5 7 Deflect Duration Mod, 6% Damage Reduction, and we got 10% Health. And then on our, on our shield, we're using the Crusader shield. It's got about 2.3 million health. We got 5% shield health, 4.6 shield health. Then we got 5% damage bonus per enemy. And real quick, let's just check out the stats. 
And don't forget, if you want to throw more armor on this build, you could. I just want to hit hard, so that's why I got only 1.1 mil. But we got 100k weapon damage, 42k PvP weapon damage, 54 critical hit chance, 180 critical hit damage. We have 70% all weapon damage bonus and 40% assault rifle damage bonus. And basically that's it for the build. So in TU11, Obliterate is going from 15% weapon damage to 25% weapon damage, which actually makes it better than Spotter. But at the same time, you have to build it up and get those stacks in order to get the full amount of weapon damage. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for coming through, man. Deuces.